Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna and I am here to let you in on a little secret today. Did you know that you do not have to teach to homeschool? So, before we go any further guys, scroll on down, hit that big old red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I am also trying to answer your questions, your burning, burning questions on the end of these videos. So please on head blah. So please head on over to Instagram, send me a DM, and let me know what you want to know. Be sure to stay till the end of this video so that you get some answers. Now, the perception of homeschooling is such that you are doing all the things. You are coming up with all the things. You are teaching your children. But you don't have to. It is possible to give your children a homeschool life where you are not teaching them. You definitely need to be there because more frequently than not, the child care, the actual uh, location of the parents is quite important. So be sure to stay, stay nearby and supervise, help when needed. But the bulk of the responsibility of teaching does not have to fall to you. Hear me out. There are varying levels of homeschooling. So there is the original thought where I'm going to teach my children math and I've come up with a curriculum and I've done all the work. That's an option. There are curriculums that you can purchase that are still pretty parent heavy where you have to get all the supplies and gather all the things. There's homeschool curriculum where it is open and go, which is genuinely mostly what we use because I need that in my life and don't need more work and stress. Uh, there are co-ops in homeschooling where you take your children one or two days a week and they're actually taught part-time by someone else there. There are hybrid schools where um, you know you send them to school a couple days a week and then you're responsible for the bulk of the work the other days. But there's also ways to homeschool without you having to do any of that. Hear me out. I, full disclosure, need to tell you, I have little to no experience with most of these things. If I do in fact have experience with them, I will tell you. I'm just gonna start at the top. These are in no particular order. So I have been hearing rave reviews about, it is an online program, but also book work called Beast Academy. It says that it is for advanced math. I think the age it starts is eight years old. It is $15 a month or $96 annually, or $150 gets you both the online program and the book work. Now, great things about online programs is that, that they will track your students' progress and frequently let you know where they need more work and it will kind of automate that entire system for you where you just have to log on. Now, none of these suggestions are probably gonna be right if you are the person who doesn't want your kid in front of a screen all the time, but if you're flexible to that and you really don't wanna teach stuff, these online options are pretty gold for you and they may just be right up your alley, especially if this is your first year. Super duper, especially if this is your only year. There's not a lot of investment you necessarily need to make if this is going to be your only year homeschooling. If you're band-aiding it until you can send them back to brick and mortar next year, by all means, look into these things. They're great and they totally fill a void and become quite popular this year because of, you know, the circumstances. Okay, so the next one that I'm gonna talk about, time for learning. This is another kind of all-encompassing curriculum. It covers the entire thing, but it's entirely online. The cost is $20 a month for I think eighth and below, and then $30 for a high school a month. I also don't know some of these, I'll tell you which ones I know for sure are good for multiple students, whereas you don't have to pay a bunch more instead of like, each kid has their own full tuition there. Power Homeschool. I've seen this one not as much, so I haven't heard as good or bad things about it. Definitely look into all these things yourselves, or better yet, guys, if you have any experience with any of this, please scroll down to the comments and share. Let people know, you know, Beast Academy was great, Power Homeschool was not great. Let me know, because these are gonna be those things that people really need to look out for that people are gonna need help with. Those reviews, those firsthand accounts are gold. Power Home School is $25 a month. Oh, and they also offer a tutoring option. 
So instead of doing just like the full online curriculum is $25 a month, you can do just tutor time for $10 a month. K through 12. K through 12 is like a weird thing because it's it's frequently advertised here in Houston as a free public school alternative. Um, so it can be free. You can upgrade certain things for cost. So I think if you get like more teacher time or things like that, then you pay more. But it's basically provided as a free public school online curriculum, which again, could be great for people who are one, one and done years, COVID homeschoolers who don't wanna do this for long term, or if you just need something to do while you're figuring out what to do, some of these are pretty gold so that you're not losing ground you've made as far as your kid's education. Okay, Khan Academy. I do have some experience with this. Now, a lot of people don't know that Khan Academy actually goes all the way up and you can learn adult skills on Khan Academy. Uh, we have used Khan Academy Kids on the girls' Amazon tablets in their free time app. Um, it's pretty great. We just started using ABC Mouse first, so I'm totally like more in for that. But Khan Academy is free, free. So there's a super huge upgrade there. I honestly don't know how much effort you'd have to put in to make it a full curriculum. Like I know for the kids, Khan Academy kids, it has like a, like a progression. Like you just go through things and then it is sure to cover all the things. I don't know what the parent dashboard is like or anything like that. So by all means, do your own research, please. Okay, once I do know, abcmouse.com, we have used this. I mean, Amelia must have been a year old. We love abcmouse.com. It's $60 a year. They have a learning path. You can adjust so many things. You can do a uh, beginner Spanish. They've got character licensing now, so you can read books that have characters your kids know. They just started a, um, a like a little TV program with the little mice. We love ABC Mouse. And I know that there's some, some drama about who owns the company. I don't even care, okay? I like the product. We like abcmouse.com. We Love it, super re recommend it. It's a great gift idea if you're a grandparent uh, to supplement your homeschool so your kids can be doing these like fun game things but learning because I always feel better about that. The flip side of that is once they age out, I think like first grade, because it really can be an entire curriculum up till first grade. We've never used it that way. We've only used it as a supplement, but my kids love it. After that is uh, Adventure Academy, which is like a fun uh, role play game. They've done it, they've done it very well. I do just wish it was available on more platforms because we can't play it as easily like on their Amazon tablets. That would make me so happy. Some of the games on there, the information on there is amazing. Another $60 a year, my kids love it. The upside, ABC Mouse and Adventure Academy is you can play multiple kids for the flat rate of 60 bucks a year. I, I wanna say it's three, maybe? Please, look into these. And again, Adventure Academy can be used as a full and complete curriculum. It is so fun. This is what I imagine it falls into the game schooling, which I still need to do more research about. I super recommend it. Another fun option that we've used, but only kind of intermittently, is OutSchool. OutSchool is a huge thing this year because you can get on there. Different people all over the planet are teaching different things once a week. You pay per class. Uh, but you could piece together a complete curriculum if you signed up for the right classes. Amelia did it to do like a Descendants dance party thing or something. It's so cool. The people are so creative in the things that they're teaching. You can use it to learn new skills just like your children can. This would be a great way to get further practice or more tutoring. Again, you can set it up to be a complete and full curriculum. You pay per class, so that could be a little, could be expensive, could be really cheap. Uh, there are some some classes that are like one and done and other ones that go for like a full semester. So you really can tailor make whatever it is you want to make out of this into whatever you want to get out of it. It's really cool. And my understanding is that the guarantee that comes from the official out school company is really great if you do have any issues with the individual class instructors. So I feel like the, the guarantees that you get with that are pretty great and it's worth the risk. So again, if you guys have used any of these things, scroll down, share your opinions, your experience. It would be so helpful. So another option is to just hire a virtual tutor. So it's essentially virtual learning, right? The distance-based public schools, you can just hire a virtual tutor to do those things with and for your kids. And you, again, just supervise. 
This is probably some of the more expensive options is what we're getting into here. Virtual tutor or just hire your own teacher. There's nothing that says that you have to be the one who does it. So if you have the needs, the ability, and the desire, go get you a teacher. There's probably a lot of them who would appreciate a job right now that's not in the public school setting. Oh, Teacher Monster to Read. Guys, I love Teacher Monster to Read. It's free if you play on the PC, free. And it, there's like a five or $10 charge to play the app on your phone, tablets. My kids play on all kinds of things. The app is amazing. It's so fun. You can play multiple kids for the one price. My only downside is sometimes the phonics because it's how it teaches the letters. Um, it's some of the British accent. So sometimes it trips my kids up a little bit, but love it. Totally recommend it. They can like build their own little monster and learn things. Well, cause they're teaching their monster to read. It's fantastic. That's another thing we've used for like years and years. Um, okay, so some of the things that are also out there that I have no experience with. I've heard great things about reading eggs. I've heard great things about uh, Night Zookeeper, Prodigy. Some of these things are also available. So do not hesitate to look into other options. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg. And 2020 guys, these things are becoming so prevalent as people really do take control of their children's education and as they're kind of driven away from the traditional mindset of public schooling, these things I am confident will become more and more prevalent and you know better and better to be able to have access to these kinds of things. Now, if you know of any others, anything I've missed, please share because I like finding some of these things for myself. Remember, just because you want to homeschool doesn't mean you have to do the schooling. Guys, it is honestly a la carte these days. You can make your child's education whatever it is you wanna make it. And again, you can just hire a teacher if that's something you can afford or wanna do. So just because you homeschool doesn't mean that you have to be the teacher. I hope that you have found anything today helpful, entertaining, or informative. Please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Question and answer time. I, when, when, what day am I filming this? It's like halfway through November right now and I am almost entirely done Christmas shopping. True story, true story. I sometimes put it off, but I am a planner. I've been making my list all year and well, the craziest of this year, the craziness with USPS guys, I'm getting it done early. I just don't trust 2020.